Eric Hoffman. Oh, he's such a rebel. Oh my god, he is so gorgeous. And he plays by no one's rules but his own. Meg, you should ask him out. I mean, you're the only one of us who's ever had a real boyfriend. Um, I, I was wondering if maybe you'd want to, I don't know, go out sometime? Huh, that's about as likely as me playing by someone else's rules besides my own, which I would never do. I play by my own rules. Nobody else's. Not even my own. How about a movie? I don't go out with dudes. Dad, am I ugly? Oh, of course not, sweetie. Yeah, where'd you get a stupid idea like that? Craig Hoffman. Craig, uh, Craig Hoffman said that? Well, he's a sharp kid. You might be ugly. <laughs> Meg, honey, don't let those awful kids at school make you feel bad about yourself. I tell you what, tomorrow you and I are going to go out and get you some brand new outfits. Maybe a pair of those low-rider jeans that'll show off your cute butt, huh? Really? Wow, thanks, Mom. Hmm, Megan Lowriders. Ooh, enough of that. Oh, you're going to get it now. <laughs> Oh, what about this, Meg? A pink baby tee that says Little Slut. That seems pretty hip. I don't know if that's really me, Mom. Give me Sperm Dumpster. That's the spirit. You finding everything okay? Yes, thank you. Well, you just let me know if you need any. How do these jeans look? <coughs> Face it, Mom. No matter what I wear, I look ugly. Oh, Meg, you're being... That's... <sighs> Let's try down here. Some lucky hideous woman will be transformed by our makeover magicians into someone of value to society. Meg, that's it. You could get a makeover. Oh, that'd be just the thing to boost your confidence. Miss Takanawa! Miss Takanawa! Over here! Oh, my daughter needs a makeover like there's no freaking tomorrow. <laughs> Take a look at your daughter. Oh my God, Lois, I'm sorry. It, it was 20 years ago. I'd never even heard the word rubber. I, I... Peter, this is Meg. Oh. I got a makeover, Dad. Don't I look great? Oh, Meg, honey, I always thought you were beautiful. Just a wig. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Boris, what is this all about? What the hell's it look like? I'm putting a bar up for sale. Oh, please tell me this is some kind of practical joke. Like like the kind I used to play when I was an intern at the hospital. I'm afraid I have some very bad news. Your wife's gonna be a vegetable. You'll have to bathe her, feed her, and care for her the rest of her life. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm just kidding. She's dead. How the hell am I supposed to compete with that? You need to fix the place up. Reinvent the clam's image, and we'll help you. That'll take forever. Not if we do a 1980s fixing stuff up montage. <laughs> Wow, I think we made it worse. Boy, I do not envy whoever has to clean that mess up. Face it, the clam is doomed. Oh, come on, guys. We can't give up now. Oh, Peter, we've tried every theme we could think of, and everything's failed, especially that uh, Coyote Ugly theme. Wait a minute, that's it! We'll turn this place into a karaoke bar! Oh man, that's the best idea since they faked the moon landing! There's got to be a morning after We're moving closer to the shore I know we'll be there by tomorrow It is, boy! Born and raised in South Detroit he took the midnight train going anywhere. Some win, some will lose. Hey, that's Journey. Kick ass. Howard. <laughs> that is Journey. Streetlight, people. This is a sign. We are gonna start our own rock band. Huh? Who's with me? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, you know, Peter, just because you guys entertained a bunch of drunken idiots at a karaoke bar doesn't mean you have what it takes to form a band. Oh, Brian, you're just ants at a picnic. We're gonna be awesome. Wait, what, 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 what am I? I'm ants at a picnic? Is, is that what you just said? I just, I, I'm ants at a picnic. All right, just making sure. 
Wow, great job getting hot, Meg. Gee, thanks. Hey, Meg. Oh, hi, Craig. Now that you're attractive, how about we go out sometime? Gosh, I'd love to. Great, I'll pick you up whenever I feel like it. Hey, Meg, we noticed Craig Hoffman just asked you out. That makes you cool. Want to hang out with us? Wow, sure. Hey, I'm here to pick you up. All right, kids, now everyone stay together. It's very important to your father that we're here for his band's first performance. The people who beat you are proud to present all the way from Quahog, Fat, Horny, Black, and Joe. Hello, Cleveland! Hello, Peter. One, two, three, four! Oh, my God, we don't know any songs. Um, can we please just get out of here? <gasps> Oh my god. Who is she? Sights won't go away. La 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 la. But I wanna be without a care. Unicorns and butterflies everywhere. Gonna, 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 gonna buy me a rainbow. Buy me a rainbow. Rainbow. How was that, Dr. Diddy? Yo, that sounded smooth, y'all. I just have a cold. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Oh, God, I'm so sorry I keep doing um, Mr. Doctor, if you get shot in a rap feud, can you perform surgery on yourself? Well, no, Chris. My degree is in optometry. All right, Dr. Diddy, I got three choices for you for the name of the band. Peter Griffin Starship, Peter Griffin and the Sunday Steppers, or Testicular Sound Express. I think the name is Meg. That's the smartest thing I've ever heard anyone say about anything. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with Meg being exploited that way. Shut up, Mom. It's not your decision. I want to be exploited. Meg, don't you talk to me like that. Look, Lois, I love meal ticket just as much as I love Chris and Stevie, but business is business. So let's get this show on the road, eh? Good. Now I just need you to sign this. <laughs> Uh, Stewie and I have been uh, working on some uh, stuff of our own, and uh, we thought there might be a place for us to sing on the next album. Hey, uh, cool. You're busy. No sweat. Well, what did he say? He said he'd think about it. Okay, so uh, where were we? Uh, okay. I want to have intercourse with you. Uh, ooh, yeah, intercourse with you. Relation. Lois, go grab me another bag of Skittles. Excuse me, young lady? Did I freaking stutter? I said, more Skittles! All right, that is it, Meg. You know, ever since you got that makeover, you've developed a terrible attitude. And all the success with the family band is only making it worse. The family band? <laughs> you know, maybe you haven't noticed, Lois, but I am the band. Right, Miss Swan? Oh, yeah, she band. Oh, little jealous. <sighs> okay, listen up, everybody. I got great news. Meg, you and your family are going to perform on Saturday Night Live. You mean I'm gonna get to meet John Belushi and Gilda Radner and Phil Hartman and Chris Farley and Horatio Sands? Sweet! Oh my god, a water fountain! <laughs> hey, Meg, uh, I'm uh, Jimmy Fallon. It's, uh, it's great to finally meet you. I'm hosting. Hey, uh, wh why don't you come hang out in my dressing room? What are you looking at? Uh, uh nothing. Uh, come on, let's go. <laughs> um, you know, there's, there's something I... <laughs> There's something I gotta tell you. Being with you just made me feel so alive from New York. It's Saturday Night! <gasps> it's Saturday Night Live! Oh my god! Mom, Dad! He used me for comedy! Wait a minute. Are you telling me that my daughter was deflowered in front of one and a half times the Mad TV audience? Oh, my poor baby. My god, Lois, you were right. Why the hell didn't I see it coming? All right, stand aside. It's about time I did my fatherly duty. <laughs> I said duty, but no time to laugh about it now. And this is for laughing and looking at the camera during every sketch you've ever been in. Who do you think you are, Carol Burnett? You think because she did it, it's okay for you? You haven't earned what she's earned, buddy. 
All uh, right, now where's the guy who slept with my daughter? I'm so glad to be the real me again. It's too much work being beautiful. <laughs> Not for me, but it's good to have you back, Pumpkin. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Uh, Lois, Meg, Stewie, Brian, Chris, uh, the guys from the prison, uh, Counting Crows, uh, uh, if I'm forgetting anybody, I'm sorry. Good night, everybody! Our thoughts are with you, Chevy! From the world-famous Apollo Theater in Harlem, it's showtime at the Apollo...